I had an EV1 and I've been waiting for this. This is our uh, third annual fundraiser and happens to also coincide with uh, our fifth anniversary of Plug-in America. It's such a dynamite car. I mean, it's really good. Uh, the handling is, is, is excellent. Um, it's extremely quiet. Uh, it's unbelievably quiet. The brakes are, are, are to die for. Um, I, yeah, I love the car. Well, I'm Chris Payne, and I'm best known for the documentary Who Killed the Electric Car about five years ago. And we're just completing work on a new documentary called Revenge of the Electric Car. The new movie is how electric cars have really come into the marketplace in the last three years. This is, a, this is an incredible change. I mean, how often does that happen in activism work that you suddenly, like, you're on the other side and you're, like, actually supporting the same exact industry players that you were critiquing five years ago? They keep telling me this is a great story of redemption. Everybody deserves to get a second chance. I think it's important for us to be here because it's uh, critical that the early adopters and the enthusiasts are excited and remain excited about the car because they're our best advocates. Not only does GM get a second chance at being a business, we also have a second chance at redeeming ourselves, in, in, in their opinion, uh, for electric vehicle production. So people are, I think, are very excited to see an American car maker here, to see GM um, uh, coming to the forefront again the way we were in the mid-90s uh, with the EV1. And I think they are very much looking forward to our private screening of the Revenge of the Electric Car. <laughs>